So what I have here is my Raspberry Pi. Uh, I recently purchased a USB Bluetooth dongle and I have a Nintendo Wii remote. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've already downloaded and installed all the correct packages and I've already written my script for connecting this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how with this Wii remote I can receive the data onto my Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'll be able to receive left, right, and actually any button, but I'm going to demonstrate the left, the right, and the one and two button. Um, but So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this screen over so now that you can see uh, my monitor, and I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, what exactly is going on as I push the buttons. So uh, I'm going to call my program, and it's going to ask me uh, to press one and two on the the Wii remote because this is going to put it in a searchable location. So as I am waiting for it to sync, um, and once it is synced, it'll say uh, we connected um, and then to disconnect press the plus button on the Wii remote here. So that's the top button. Uh, so what it's going to do is I'm creating a robot and that robot is going to basically be able to drive. Uh, and so it's going to be able to go left, right, and so the starting position is going to be position, I'm going to call it 50. And then to the right, it'll go all the way to 100 and stop, and then all the way to the left will be at zero. So when, as you see here, as I push to the right, you're seeing it gonna, it's going to count all the way up to 100. And when I go to the left, it's going to count all the way down to zero. And so it's, it's looking for that uh, value every half a second. Uh, that's just the time I found and picked. Uh, so what I also did is you can press the two button, and it says button two was pressed. And then as you can see, I press button one and it'll say button one was pressed. Uh, now because I'm gonna be doing a car, I'm gonna say uh, the right and two is gonna be moving forward. So it says moving forward and then I can tell it to do what position I want it to do. And I can also do that for reverse. So here I've done forward, reverse, and then whatever that position angle is, uh, left and right. Uh, the other cool thing I did is I set the minus button on the Wii remote to turn on the rumbling. So I'm gonna Turn that on and maybe bring it a little closer. Maybe you can hear that rumbling. And then when you click it again, it turns off. So this is um, all Bluetooth connections and all the buttons and everything are uh, accessible through uh, this Python module that I found online and I was able to easily connect to my Raspberry Pi. Uh, I've got the plus button now connected to disconnect my Bluetooth. And that's it, now my Wii remote is turned off. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna end up connecting this to my robot and it's gonna drive it left, right, and forward. So uh, follow my blog to learn more about how to get this set up and to follow my future endeavors into making a robot out of this. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching and uh, hopefully you'll be able to create some cool projects with your own Raspberry Pi.